now a construction of a meditation center in the area near Borobudur is a joint project between Thailand and Indonesia. Not only will this cooperation boost the religious and tourism ties between both countries, it will also, uh, also involve the people across the region. More on this report from our reporter. The ministerial meeting on cultural heritage, tourism and cooperation with the theme Trail of Civilization, or known as the Borobudur Declaration, was held in 2006 and was attended by Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos PDR, Myanmar, Thailand and Vietnam. The declaration takes into account the deeply rooted cultural heritage links that have remained to be hidden as time passed by, as well as serve as a dynamic reference point and positive instrument to foster peace and friendship among ASEAN member countries. To make the trail of civilization become a reality, along with connecting this in the ASEAN region together, what Arun Rashawararam's Learning and Meditation Center from Thailand and the Indonesian government are planning to build a center for boarding, learning and meditation of Buddhism in Borobudur, the biggest Buddhist temple in the world. The center is aimed to help poor, needy and orphan children from all over Indonesia to get a proper education and a better opportunity. The center will also be open to the public, offering a place to practice meditation to those who want to gain a peace of mind. And since the center will be running on donated funds from all over the world, money will be donated from everywhere, regardless of race or religion. Thus, the center will serve everyone equally, also okay. without discrimination. Uh, as uh, more and more uh, people interested in meditation, especially uh, Westerners, uh, the place, the project in Borobudur can invite or can attract many uh, visitors from all over the world to do some uh, retreat, uh, meditation retreat in uh, uh, around surrounding Borobudur uh, at Borobudur Temple. Uh, this will help also to, to boost the economy, the local economy, in attracting more tourists. The Borobudur Center will furthermore serve as an alternative choice for Buddhists and tourists who are interested in practicing meditation and making merits. Bapak Hasaya, a tourist guide at Borobudur, told RCN TV that 25 years of working with people from various religions and beliefs gained him the experience to learn that every religion and belief teaches humanity to have good morals. Bapak is more than glad to have the Buddhist meditation center in his country, adding that the newly opened center will help attract more tourists to Borobudur. This cooperation will not only boost the religious ties, but will also foster tourism ties between Thailand and Indonesia. This meditation center is expected to draw Buddhist pilgrims to visit Borobudur and during the travel to visit this temple, which lies in the largest Muslim country. It will also allow Buddhist tourists to experience a different religion. The motto, seeing is believing, is always an important key in fostering a people-to-people -people relationship in the region, which will in turn provide a better understanding between Buddhists and Muslims within ASEAN, a vital step ahead of the creation of ASEAN community in 2015. ASEAN TV team of Thai News Agency reporting for ASEAN TV.